Hi everyone, my name is John Tell. I'm in your University 101 class. Today I'm going to be presenting my TED talk on a specific topic, which is also a hobby of mine. This topic is video games, which this leads to my question what I'm going to be elaborating on today. Um, this question of mine is, how do video games impact on how the individual learns? Here, um, video games are mainly seen as multiple things such as entertainment, social networking, and other. However, here in this current video, um, we see this as an entertainment. Um, we see here as the player is playing a character called Link, who is the hero in the game, where he overcomes many different obstacles by collecting items, defeating bosses in the many dungeons within the game in order to bring peace back to his land, which is called Hyrule. Here we see how the player utilizes many different items in order to overcome these bosses. And thus, we see here how he eventually slays the um, boss with the silver arrow. As we see here, a Link eventually overcomes this obstacle and saves the land um, from the darkness and sa also saves the um, ruler of the land, which is Princess Zelda. As we see here, video games can be seen as an uh, entertainment tool, but it can also be seen as a educational tool. In my upcoming example, um, we see here how this game called The Logical Journey of the Zubinis. We see how there are these mythical creatures within um, this game, how they are attempting to attain freedom as they are being slaved away in the current home. However, they, they hope to go on and journey through um, many dangers and paths in order to build a new home, which they would call the Zubiniville. Here are you, the player. You play as the lead role where you lead these creatures off to land in the journey by overcoming these different obstacles. As you see here, there are two bridges and two sneezing mountains. Um, these two bridges have a specific solution where the character, uh, the player actually, has to utilize the Zubinis in order to find which Zubini can cross which specific bridge. Here we see how the um, player utilizes his skills in analyzing and also critically thinking how they would eventually put the Zubinis in a specific um, bridge in order to bring them across. As we see um, in this little part upcoming here, we see how um, everyone can make a mistake, but um, all is not lost if you still have chances because nothing is perfect. With this being an educational tool, there are chances to, to overcome problems such as a question or a, a mistake you have done. Thus, um, you're able to fix your problem and making this a great educational tool as um, one can learn from their mistakes. As we see here, all these meetings have successfully crossed in our continuing journey, which leads to this picture which shows how the, um, there's many different difficulties within the game. In this next part of the video, um, the, this is a different puzzle where the player has to utilize different skills, but they also have to be able to analyze the problem, um, guess, and check, where they will eventually um, land what these mud balls um, the player is shooting at a specific panel in order to shoot the Zubini across to the, uh, the top ledge. This then uh, shows how um, one can utilize his logical and thinking skills to be able to solve this problem. Thus, being able to um, save the Zubinis and um, letting them continue the journey on into their paradise, the uh, Zubiniville. Overall, we see here how the player utilizes his skills and is able to overcome the obstacles, thus showing how this is an educational tool. Um, the player unconsciously learns different methods in order to solve different problems, and overall, this is it. Um, I'm just trying to tell you here that video games can become a way um, to teach us as it has been um, unconsciously and it may become an educational tool in the future.